Hi guys, so this um, is going to be my first cooking video and I was trying to think of a recipe that um, we really like and that it's perfect for the family and it's easy on your budget if you have a large family or if you're like Chris and I um, and you like to have stuff left over for lunches the next day for work or whichever. This is a great meal that is good first night and second day um, and it's actually chicken pot pie. Now, it's cooked differently than the norm in regards to you don't use a pie crust. This is actually something that my mom does and it's a huge hit with the kids and it's great for individual portion sizes of equal size. So I'm going to go over the ingredients and everything you're going to need. Okay, so I've got everything already pre-measured. I did that for you guys because I love you. Um, you're going to need some two small cloves of chopped up garlic. This is optional. You're going to need a quarter cup of some sort of vinaigrette. Um, I usually use Italian dressing, but I don't have it, so I'm using balsamic today. You're going to need a, um, a half cup of chicken broth, two tablespoons of flour, three cups of thawed mixed frozen veggies. The easiest and quickest way to do this is to measure them out in a strainer and um, just spray hot water on them until they're thawed. It only takes about 30 seconds. Uh, you're going to need about one pound or like three average sized chicken breasts cut up into chunks. And this is the trick. These are Pillsbury Country Biscuits. So um, these have 10. You actually need 12 for this recipe. So you have to buy two and then I just bake the other eight normally on package directions. Yeah, so that's what you do. You um, Cook these. Cook this in the oven to pack instructions too when cooking your casserole. So you heat it up to 375 and then you bake it like it says on the package. So yeah, um, let's get started here. So in a pan you're going to turn it on to um, just above medium heat and then you're going to put in some olive oil. You're going to put in about two uh, about, you know, one tablespoon or two teaspoons of olive oil. That's heating up. You're going to put in your dressing. and your garlic. And just give it a mix and then dump in your chicken. And then you're going to cook this for about two minutes, two to three minutes, and then I will show you what to do next. The next thing you're going to do is add the cream cheese. This is light cream cheese, by the way. Yeah, that's optional, but I prefer to save calories. But I prefer to save calories where I can with this meal. This you're going to stir in for three to five minutes until it is melted and combined, and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so you're going to have something that looks like this, and then you're going to want to take your flour and just dump that in and you're going to mix that until it is nice and combined. This is our thickening agent. After you have that combined, you're going to grab your chicken broth and you're going to pour that in and stir that for about two minutes or so or until the sauce thickens up. Alright, so I only had to stir that for about a minute, uh, got all the lumps out, and then you're going to want to take your veggies, and you're just going to want to empty those in, and after you have those in, you're just going to stir the mixture up, reduce the heat a little bit, and let that simmer for about five minutes, let that sauce really thicken up. And while that is simmering, what you're going to want to do is get a about 9 by 13 casserole dish um, and get the that out and grease it with a nonstick baking and uh, like nonstick spray and then open up your biscuits and get that ready so you can assemble it. Okay, so we have our 9 by 13 pan on a casserole dish. It's a glass one. I've just sprayed it with nonstick. Take your mixture. And put it in. Now you can use this mixture if you want with a pie crust. Um, just get a pre-made pie crust and put it in a pie pan 
and you know put the pie crust on top and follow the baking directions with that. But I just prefer to do it this way. You're just going to want to spread all that out nice and even. Okay. And then here are the biscuits. They're going to look like this. Um, so I like to put them in three. And you can put these close together. I mean, it really doesn't doesn't matter. They spread apart. Now, when they when they bake, the the bottoms are cooked. They're just soft, obviously, because they're sitting on top of the um, mixture. So I like to cook these for about a minute longer than it says, just to ensure that the bottom is cooked. So these are going to go into the oven for how long does it say? It says. 10 to 13 minutes, so I like to do it for the full 13 and then check and do it for a minute longer if it's needed. So I'm going to put these into my preheated 375 on the middle rack, set the timer, and uh, we'll see when it's done. So I just took these out of the oven. Don't they look amazing? So I cooked these for 14 minutes. Um, they're nice and golden, they're hard on the sides, they're all cooked through, but the tops will be, I mean the bottoms will be soft. So um, you to just plate this, you cut around it, scoop it out, put it on a plate. Um, we usually eat uh, two of them for dinner and that's it. Like we don't, you can do a salad with it and stuff, but it's got the veggies and the chicken and everything in it and they are quite filling. Um, but yeah, so I hope that, uh, so I hope that this was a good video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and let me know if you give it a try or some of your favorite recipes and things that you want to see. I love to cook. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to plate this up and have dinner and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye.